So hello friend, welcome back to channel. We have already discussed about the sudo command, switch user command and uh, how to make a sudo entry for any user. But where we have discussed uh, vi sudo and why we should not do vi slash et sudo. Okay. So let's go into the file vi sudo. First let me become a root user. Okay. Then vi sudo. Okay. This is the preferred method to edit the sudo file. Okay, I am here. I will make some entry. Amit, I am going to do syntax error because I want to show you what's the power of VI editor and VI sudo command here. Okay, I will try to save it. Okay, see, it is giving me a warning. Slash it is sudo syntax error line number near line 21. But now you want to save it? Yes, no. You don't want to save it? No. Okay. There is no option. You can edit again. Exit without saving. Quit. So exq edit. Quit without saving changes. Quit and save changes. So I will put e to edit again. Okay. And uh, I will do correct the entries. Okay, this will look perfect. Let me save it again. Voila, this time it's not giving an error. So it got saved. Now we will try to do same thing with bi slash etc sudo. Okay, I have opened that file. I'll make entry here. Test user. Okay. It's not giving me any warning. So now my file got corrupted with the root user. It is working. Okay. Now I will take another session of my server. Let's see how it will work. <coughs> okay. Let me extend that this sudo su hyphen. So sudo file corrupted. User will not able to change. Normal user will not able to become a root user. No one able to use sudo command sudo slash etc plus wd okay and ls syntax error oh, we will go back to window delete this line save it now it's working so that's why I told you do not do vi slash it is sudo always use vi sudo because if you are doing the vi sudo before saving if is there any syntax error it will prompt you but if you are doing vi slash it is sudo it will won't prompt you for your syntax error it will get saved and if you are exit from the root login other user will not able to do the changes using a sudo command until unless file is not perfectly open here learning is in a normal corporate environment we are not using root to log into a system root login is by default disabled so if you are having this normal user he is not having a permission to run the sudo command how we can recover this file there is no other way you have to log into the console from where you your root login is enabled from that only you can recover else if you are not having the root thing you have to take the system in single user mode reset the root password that will require downtime and meantime when file is corrupted like application user other users no one will able to access the sudo commands okay that's why is always prefer to use vi sudo not vi slash ct sudo this is not correct so this is the very basic question which interviewer might ask you what's the difference between vi sudo and vi slash ct sudo so you can say vi sudo used to before saving it will check the syntax if there is any error it will prompt you want to save quit or exit accordingly you can take action and save the file if you can you can edit it again remove the syntax file okay so that's all for today let's see you in the next video
till then keep practicing keep working bye bye